Hello, I'm Redacted NPC. I've made a host of errors for today's episode, so we'll just go ahead and continue the mistakes. But let's start out with a review of what's been happening. So today is December 19th. I just finished posting the remaster of Future Trunks and then he died too. I had to re repost it because at the very end I had Future, I had Teen Trunks' dialogue color incorrect. I had it the same color as Future Adult Trunks. So I had to go and fix that. But I got that all figured out. There are a lot of other things behind the scenes I've been trying to get going that have just taken a lot of resources, time, and energy. The first is I'm trying to stream more consistently so that people are able to know when I'll be online and they'll be able to join and watch the stream. I'm trying to make it where Thursday evenings I stream and maybe Sunday evenings, but it just requires a lot of planning because there's also things in my life that I'm trying to get together. Then there's also the fact that number 102's episode breakdown took the longest amount of time for me to edit together and took the most amount of production or the most amount of energy. I had to learn several new skills just for that, that one episode breakdown. There's a lot that went into it. I paid an artist. I had to first make a Twitter account, which if you want to go check it out, I don't intend on using Twitter, but there's my, I don't know what's called Twitter handle. Anyway, I had to make a Twitter account and then message a few different artists trying to get some uh, art commissions for this. And then finally I got one and then I had to figure out how I was going to make the background for that one because I didn't, there aren't any images, the floor, look at the floor of the thumbnail and see how it's purple and red. I don't really know what to call that in order to find that there's no, there are no images of just that. I tried like a heat map of the earth, but purple, but it didn't come out well. So I ended up, the artist drew uh, trunks. I ended up going through and making the, the background. And for the background, all I did is I just put Shinji, but I overlapped trunks on top. And then I just redrew some of the, some of the parts of the earth or whatever that is. So we're not talking about that. The point is I also had to learn how to 3d model and 3d rig characters so that I could trace because I, I can't draw to the level that I want to see in my video thumbnails. So as an example, I'm still using that ability now. This is for a thumbnail of a clip that will get posted. Uh, I'm trying to remember when it gets posted. Let's go take a look. Okay, so the thumbnail for this will get posted on the 28th. Today is the 19th. I finished editing it yesterday and I finished drawing the thumbnail for it today. It doesn't, it doesn't take a lot of time or effort to draw, but it takes a bit of time to model all of these, but that's just cause I had to go and get, fortunately for me, other people have already gotten the 3d models for some of the games I'm looking at. Like this Pikachu's from let's go Pikachu. This Jack Frost is from persona five. They've already ripped those models for me. So all I had to do was just go and download them. But it still takes some time for me to learn the skeleton that they have, delete the skeleton or hide the skeletons that I don't intend on using, add them here. I had to go and download this table. It's a lot. So there's all that, but it just also took a lot of time for me to put together. It took three weeks for me to put all of that together. Uh, originally, it was over an hour and a half long. I managed to cut that down by removing some parts to just an hour, 22 minutes. Anyway, there's just been a lot going on. And then I'm also trying to get my clips channel going. I'm trying to post at least one clip a week, which will be on Sundays. Occasionally I'll do it every, I'll, I'll do two clips in a week because there are a lot of clips for me to get through. And I'll go ahead and show you real quick. So these are all the clips. Anywhere you see purple, that means I've already started or completed the clip for that. And then I still have the rest of these all to get through. So there's a lot that's going on behind the scenes. I 
didn't prepare for this episode breakdown either. Usually I will write out a brief script of the things that I want to talk about, but I don't have anything written for this one and I don't have anything written for the next one yet. So it's going to be a lot of rambling. Uh, redacted editor will do his best to edit it down and make it more cohesive so that all the long pauses I normally take aren't there. So I think I've rambled enough. That's probably given, given redacted artist enough time to draw the thumbnail. There you go for this one. Oh, and the other mistake I made is I moved where my mic is. My mic used to be on my left, but my second monitor is also on my left. So my mic, I had to play around moving it so that it wasn't in the way. But then you could, it just, it wasn't in a good position. So I moved it over to the right, but my computer is to the right. I was worried the fans would get picked up on the audio, but so far I haven't heard them. So hopefully I went through and I tested. Hopefully there won't be any sound issues like the video won't be too quiet or I won't be too loud because if I have to go through, I'm not recording a separate audio track for this, although I probably should be, and I could still fix it now, but whatever. I'm not recording a separate audio track, so if there are issues with the volume, I'm going to have to go through and edit that all myself, which is going to be tedious. The last thing is that I'm going to, when I'm going through these episode breakdowns, I'm going to do my best not to keep going back, going back, like we'll watch this for, let's say a few seconds and then like, we'll get to here and then I'll go back and I'll play it again. I will try and just continue playing from here just because if I have to go back and do some editing, it's a little bit faster for me. So this one is the longest episode breakdown video that I have reviewed yet. This one is 14 minutes. So I'm going to try not to, where is it? 13. Yeah. Almost exactly 14 minutes. I'm going to try not to ramble too much because we already have a lot to get through. And if I want to keep on my schedule of posting a video every other week, then I need to speed up. So originally this video that I produced was supposed to be five to six minutes long. I don't know what this is about. I haven't used After Effects ever since I updated. I've been using Premiere. So anyway, this video was supposed to be five to six minutes long, but there was just so much for me to add. Well, I thought it was going to be five to six minutes wrong. Long. I was wrong. This was the first episode that I wrote the script for. This was the origin episode. So it took the last three minutes of this where Gohan is fighting Frieza. It's actually the first part of this that I wrote. I made this after watching Squid Game, uh, whenever that came out, and Samuel Kim made an Attack on Titan in a Squid Game remix, and I heard that, and I was like, oh, this sounds pretty good, I wish I had something to put this with, and then I was thinking, well, I kind of have this idea for Goku Speedruns the Saiyan Saga, but I haven't actually sat down and thought about what all I would add. I guess this could be added, and so here we are. The rest of the songs and plot were filled in after I wrote the Gohan versus Frieza. My favorite part is here because this is where the music starts to sync, but we'll get to that in a moment. This does have a hidden subscribe text. I would try and remember to go find that. So let's go ahead and get started. This is the first episode that I've produced where I felt the need to put a viewer discretion is advised just because it really is just child abuse that's happening throughout the emotional manipulation and child abuse that is happening throughout this video. I thought about adding text here for, or having them talk or say something like that, but it wasn't the only reason I added this is so that I could have the viewer discretion and to provide context. So you see Chi Chi and everyone waving goodbye. You realize, okay, this is after they fought Vegeta. You know exactly where it is. We're not starting on Namek. And then there is also, if you, let me think, if, if you have a photosensitivity if you have photosensitivity, I will do my best when I'm editing this to one, 
put the exact time mark where that photosensitivity is. I'm going to put that in this space right here where I'm talking. And two, when it actually comes up, I'll put another warning that says there's about to be photosensitivity. You can skip to here to dodge it. Oh, there I go again. The sound effects for the initial parts were actually just from the main episode. This part, though, I used a plane and I just made it go, meow, made it go quiet, loud, quiet. Oh, I forgot to talk about the preview. Let's talk about that really quickly. The preview was actually made after. You know what? We'll talk about the preview afterwards because the preview was made after this. I just now nah, we'll talk about it now. I just took some parts of the episode after I had made this. I just grabbed random things, threw them in there. I used some of the voice lines, which you can see here. I'm missing some of the voice lines because, like I said, since making this. How long ago was this? I posted this about a year and a half ago which means I was working on it longer than that. Uh, since making this, I have been moving around my file, so I'm missing some lines from, that's Kid Gohan's text right there, GHS, that's Kid Gohan. Um, so I grabbed those instead of finding fresh new ones, and I just slapped them in here. So let's take a quick look at the preview. Oh, this music might be copywritten. Also, this... This is supposed to be Gohan talking, but I don't have the files here. I added this prologue from, I believe, Android Orchestra because they do a really good job with their music. And I posted this preview after I had gotten all the visual effects. Oh, I get it. Okay, I'll talk about this in a moment. I posted this preview. <laughs> Excuse me. I made the preview after I had gathered all the visual effects and made all the visual edits that I had wanted just so that people could know because the visual edits is only one of three parts i do visual edits and music then i do sound effects then i do voices in that order for all of my videos so even though it's only one third of the project it takes the most amount of time because this is where i'm putting the text the music i'm getting everything synced up i'm making whatever effects i need to which a lot of times this is where i need to go research how to make certain effects this is where I get a lot of inspiration for learning or changing the story, how to convey the story that I want. So it actually takes the most amount of time out of anything. Uh, we'll just scan through this. So I just gave a quick... It's Gohan and Goku talking, and I decided I should probably give a preview for every one of my videos before I post them, just to kind of build some hype, I guess before posting them, but Gohan's talking with Goku. This was the time that I decided that Gohan's text shouldn't be blue, it should just be a lighter orange, because that's what I did with Goten, and I liked it. Just some real vague things, nothing specific here. Oh, and I did want everyone to think, oh, how is Vegeta gonna... So the, the point of this was just to get people talking. How is Vegeta gonna be helping them this... Because you know that the timeline is different. So I just threw random things together. There you go. That's a preview. Let's keep going. This part I only added because I felt like it was a... Not so much a plot hole, but it was an interesting point that I wanted to clarify. Since this timeline has already divulged from the original, I wanted to talk about what's... Goku's thought process because otherwise and it it leads into the montage that helps us to skip through most of Namek <laughs> you may also notice that throughout all of this Goku isn't actually seen so all of this is just Gohan, and that's because, remember, Goku isn't in this ship. This is the initial ship that has Krillin, Bulma, and Gohan. It just has Krillin, Bulma, and Gohan. So, some of these clips are actually from filler episodes. Goku and Gohan are on different ships, so I decided that they were going to come on this old Namekian ship because... That way, they don't have to wait for Bulma to build anything. Plus, originally, when they were going to Namek anyway, Kami was like, 
or Popo was like, yeah, Akami came from this ship. You can just use this. They they would have no reason to build the ship. So that's why we have everything going on on this ship. Again, this is a different ship. This is the Capsule Corp, the round ship that they all go on. It's different than the one that they're, they're not on the same ship together. So this is just how I managed to make it seem like they were sharing the same space and just cut back and forth and just show those two. I had a lot of fun. The visual effects are the most energy intensive or they require the most energy but the sound effects are probably the most fun because I get to really just let my imagination run wild. What sound effect am I going to use for the spaceship? Because I think there wasn't a sound effect. Well, I just went and looked up Steampunk Factory and I threw that in there. What sound effect am I going to get for Vegeta walking? I need it to be a very click, click, click. So I just went and looked up someone walking in heels and then I panned it to the left or to the right. I gave explanation there for why Vegeta is acting on his own and what he's doing. Now that you know what's going on with Vegeta, you know that he's still going to go down the same exact route that he did originally in Dragon Ball Z. Good. I don't have to talk about him. I don't have to have him do any exposition. I don't have to have him talk. His explanation, everything that's going on when you see him, it's already explained away. I also really like this clip of him walking up. And I know I just made a rule that I wasn't going to go back and me moving, things like that. That I'm already throwing that out. But I like this clip of him walking up. And I like... Well, we'll see you later. I can't find it now. Oh, there's the audio I'm missing. And it looks like I'm missing... Oh, it just wasn't working properly. Let's try that again. ドラゴンボールを持って離れろってそんな。そんじゃ、次の授業始めるぞ。さあ、授業始めるぞ。こいつ、救世長中だ。おめたち今のまんまじゃ追い抜かれちまうぞ。Okay, so as that begins to mess up, not gonna, I might bother fixing that. Again, like I said, I've already explained what's going on with Vegeta so that I don't have to have him do any talking. He can just be, because I know a montage is coming up. I had a whole training montage coming up and I specifically wanted the music to cut at a point. So I can't have anyone talking. So we're getting all the ex explanation out of the way now. Next. I wanted to explain why it's not an issue if he gets the Dragon Balls. Why we actually need him doing his thing, he's helping them. Why Goku, who knows the future, isn't worried about it. Perfectly fine. Okay, before this plays, I just really need to check. Okay, well, officially I shouldn't be using any of this music because it's copywritten music. And so if I were to become popular enough that I could monetize my videos, this would 
stop me from being able to monetize them. So unfortunately, we made an exception for 102, but I'm going to have to mute the music in this section, which tell you what, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to double check and see if this would affect my ability to monetize. Okay, so currently it doesn't say that it will strike my channel or it'll stop me from monetizing whenever if I ever become popular enough. So here's what's going to happen. I'm going to leave the music in for now. And if I end up, it's still processing. If it ends up telling me, no, you can't monetize, then Redacted Editor gets the joy of going through and removing the music and just leaving the sound effects. Again, notice that the sound effects there go to the left as Goku does. Here's what I'm going to do for this video. I'm not going to go through and cut out or change any of the issues with After Effects. I'm just going to leave them in so that you can see why I'm switching to Premiere instead of After Effects. It does this even if I only have a 30 second clip. It will still do this. I went through and I played this entire video twice and it still does this same exact thing. I have allocated, I think, 28 gigabytes of RAM to this, leaving only four gigabytes of RAM for the rest of the processes processes on my computer. And it still does this. There's nothing that I can do to satisfy it. So this is why we're switching over to Premiere. You might notice that these are way out of order. D Dodoria comes in and threatens to hit Dende, but this is First, I think Gohan yells something, then Dory is looking around. That's why his arm isn't raised over here when he's about to hit him. I rearranged this entire sequence of events so that it was a lot easier to follow uh, what I was doing. Also, Goku's explanation, there's nothing I can really add on to that. I feel like it's pretty straightforward for what's going on and why. We'll talk about Goku's motivation, what he's thinking later on. Here I had to make sure that Krillin, Krillin originally is part of this scene. I had to make sure that he doesn't show up because currently the only people on this planet are Gohan, Vegeta, and Goku. And I made, I did my best. Oh, Krillin's dead. In this video series that I have, Krillin's currently dead. So he's not allowed to show up at all. So I did my best to make sure that I only got clips that showed those three characters. Again, here... Gohan is actually listening to Krillin as they're talking about how they can't sense. Okay, so there. I just got the information from YouTube that I won't be able to monetize if I have the music. So, go ahead and disable the songs. We'll disable the next one when we get there. You get to hear how empty it is without the music. So this part, in fact, no, 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 I'll let it play. <laughs> go back after watching this and go and watch the original if you have the time or patience for it and see how much the music adds to this because when i was editing this is all i was hearing the sound effects and i was perfectly fine with it but because i had the music i was able to forego some of the ambiance i didn't have to add everything <laughs> Here, it cuts at the exact moment that the music is about to reach its uh, its peak. I cut it just as you're about to expect it to really cut what's going on. Not only that, so the music, you're expecting it, it goes da-da-da, and you expect it to keep going and 
keeping hype happy i made sure to use music that sounded so happy and hype like yeah we're, we're getting this done come on guys and just so that when it cuts to here it really just blindsides you i have that i have gohan's text as he's talking or gohan's dialogue as he's talking i had that get interrupted halfway through and then the final thing that i do is i darken and desaturate this video so take a look at how it looks now versus here it looks a lot darker right well less saturated that was all done just to really drive home how dark this timeline is meant to be. Originally, Goku's here because he sees his son got uh, his neck snapped by Raccoon. But in this version now, instead, Goku sees is standing over his son who he just beat half to death. Here, I start using Herlis's voice for Goku because the voice actress for Goku is a lot more cold when she's speaking as uh, Turles. This is an actual concept in Dragon Ball Z. The Zenkai boost is what makes the Saiyan race a warrior race, is because every time they survive near-death experiences, they get stronger for it. I just made it more gamified by saying you get a large boost of experience points. For the longest time there, I was so struggling with the sound effects and how to proceed here because there's no music to hide when there's silence. And again, if I don't add any sound, it just, it sounds like nothing. It's blank. Nothing makes a sound unless I make it make a sound. So it took me a while to figure out how much of what to add, if I should add their voices talking without any... Uh, subtext without any subtitles anything like that but finally figured it out something that they still very much could do and people will people will always ask well why didn't they do this why didn't they do that it would have made things so much easier if i were there i would have done this and it would have been so easy you're right that's exactly why they haven't done it. The reason that they didn't ask for infinite sensu beans or the reason that they don't wish for all their problems to not exist is because that would be boring. It would be boring if they had infinite sensu beans. Death already means nothing in the Dragon Ball universe. You can just wish someone to back as long as at least one person is still alive. It has no meaning. Oh no, Cell killed Trunks and? So long as we kill Cell, we can wish him back. It's not a big deal. It really isn't. Of course, I imagine dying doesn't feel good, to put it lightly, but it's not an issue. Now, if we had infinite sensu beans, every problem is, is poultry. It means nothing. Oh no, someone got their arm cut off. Okay, throw them a sensu bean. We have a bag here that has an infinite amount. So... That's, that's part of the reason why it takes Sensu Bean so long to grow, is to limit how many of them there are. It just wouldn't be interesting. But I decided to forego this because we're going to the Namek Saga. Part of it is if they had infinite Sensu Beans, then, like I said, every battle loses its meaning because you can just heal up infinitely until the enemy tires out. Unless they manage to steal the Sensu Beans, in which case then it becomes a problem, but yeah. Uh But well, the point is, you need to activate the Saiyan Zenkai boost by nearly dying and then getting healed up. And the faster you do that, the higher your level will be until eventually you're strong enough to defeat whatever villain is going on. That was the plan. 
Piccolo was going to beat up Goku. Goku would get healed up by Sensu Beans. They would just do that over and over again until Goku could one-shot every enemy. That was the original plan. Then Piccolo just randomly died because it was scripted. So instead, we have to do that for Gohan. And we'll talk a little bit more. I thought about trying to get Zarbon's lips here, closing them so that he doesn't speak, but I decided it wasn't that big a deal. The sound effect there is another thing that I really struggled with. What sound to make for them flying, what sound to make when they clash, because the sound that they actually use in the episode Vegeta. Well, first off, has music, so this is probably going to get hit by copyright. It's not something that I could very easily extract myself, so I just added my own. There was no reason for me to add this. You could argue that the Zenkai boost is just as powerful for Half Saiyans since they have more potential and they, they're they able to grow more than Saiyans, but uh, I just wanted to make Gohan suffer more because I thought that would make it more interesting. Also made more sense to me this way. We don't know how long they spend on Namek, so I decided to just say, okay, we're just going to power level, we're going to keep doing this for the next few hours, because they could spend days on Namek, it could have been weeks. Because Namek has two sons, there's no way for us to track the number of days that go on. Unless someone at, from Earth tells them, but no one does. <laughs> That was after Goku gave Gohan the Sensu Bean. Some more steampunk factory there. Also, notice what Goku's doing here. So we had. Turlis voice, Turlis voice, and then, and he's trying to convince him, oh, you're going to be so great. And Gohan here is trying to say he doesn't want to do this, and Goku's so happy, he's like, no, 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 what? No, come on, this will, this will be great. Again, we go back to Turles. So, Goku is manipulating Gohan here. But the thing is, as we'll talk about in episode 3, he's not doing it intentionally. Like, he's not doing all this to be a villain. When Goku throws Gohan against Cell. He says something to the effect of, I really like fighting, so I thought you would too, but I realize now that you're just not as into fighting as I am, and it was wrong of me to try and force that upon you. It's the exact same thing that's happening here. Goku is so excited at the thought of someone just getting immensely powerful that he's, he's, pushing this on Gohan. He's pushing his desires onto Gohan, even though Gohan doesn't want to do this. Of course, you could argue that this is a cheap way to do it, and Goku, the actual Goku, wouldn't be okay with this. And I could I could get behind that. I could agree with that. But you're not the one making the video, are you? There's also another motivation for why Goku's doing this. Another sound effect that I had to go randomly find. There's also another motivation for why Goku's doing this, but we'll talk about that in episode 3. All you need to know is, 
He's doing this. He's very excited at the idea of Gohan becoming super powerful. He's trying to save more people. He honestly believes this is a good way to stop as much suffering as possible. Goku isn't doing this out of malice. He's just doing this out of blind giddiness. He's not recognizing how it's making Gohan feel. So up until now, all of Vegeta's things were going the exact same. He fought Kui, he killed Kui, he fought Dodoria, he killed Dodoria, he fought Zarbon, then lost to Zarbon. I thought about showing him having the rematch with Zarbon. In fact, I think I did. Didn't I? No, he loses to Zarbon. He goes, he gets the Dragon Balls. Okay, I didn't add it, but it's implied. He goes and fights Zarbon, kills Zarbon. Not a problem. He steals the Dragon Balls. Frieza gets pissed. What I'll say is that for this clip right here, this originally had... And again, I've been darkening and dimming everything. I've been desaturating everything in order to make it more more grim but notice here how there's actually three people over here this is piccolo krillin and gohan after they've revived uh piccolo but piccolo and krillin are dead in this timeline so instead i just zoomed in so that it's just one person so that you would think it's vegeta problem is <laughs> Oh, the problem was that Vegeta, the only clips I had were of Vegeta already in the air, so I had to add something that made it seem like he flew off. Because this is him in the air. So, in the clip that I posted, Vegeta is running from Frieza, and Frieza starts laughing, he's like, oh, what was he laughing about? But in the original, it's actually just second form Frieza, just chases after Vegeta, and then he realizes, oh, there's no escaping. So, just some ingenuity. <laughs> I was wanting to think of things that sounded Frieza-esque without sounding too edgy, because Frieza is just a very well-written character. The way that he talks, it's threatening, but also very proper, very business-like. So, I did my best to try and emulate that. Again, I tried to think of very not edgy ways of saying this. I thought about saying something like, I honestly can't remember at this point, but there were a lot of different ideas that I floated by, and eventually I was like, okay, look, this is the best that I can come up with. He's saying that once I'm done torturing you, then I'll kill you. Rather than, I, I, the thing I was thinking of saying was, if you come down here, I'll make your death quick and painless, or something like that. But that's just so cliche. So. Sure. And here Vegeta just gives in, which isn't, which isn't very, I forgot I put that in there. It's a nice slur for the Saiyans. It, it isn't. Very Vegeta-like for him to give up, but oh well. We'll go ahead and mute these songs as well. <laughs> this entire montage, I wanted to keep flipping between... So the two battles going on are Goku training Gohan and Frieza torturing Vegeta. I wanted to keep flipping back and forth to draw a contrast between Goku beating Gohan and Frieza beating Vegeta. So you'll notice that I keep switching back and forth to make it almost look like Goku is fighting Vegeta and Gohan is fighting Frieza. 
but that's just done to especially with the dialogue that you're going to be seeing here about like how I'm the strongest person you've ever seen. It's just meant to show how villainous Goku is acting, being compared to Frieza, torturing Vegeta. Took a while to find some sound effects that sound like blood that aren't just water. Again, this is an example. We see Vegeta fighting Frieza, and then we see Gohan dashing forward, and he's about to punch, and boom, Gohan's about to punch with his right arm, and then it's Vegeta punching with his right arm. And Gohan's fighting, da -da 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 -da. and it's Vegeta going, da -da 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 -da, and Frieza's dodging. And then Dende is healing up Gohan again for the umpteenth time because we just need to get through these Zenkai boosts. Here, it was actually, I don't remember who was fighting. I think this was when Captain Genyu took Gohan, Goku's body. But still, I'm just splicing these things together. This is my favorite part, because here's where the music actually starts to sync. But unfortunately, we're not going to be hearing the music. You can go and watch the original version for the music. Especially this part. This is where it really starts. I had to slow down this clip quite a bit so that it lasted long enough for the music. There's the hidden subscribe text. I hid it back here behind the hill. Let me make it a little bit easier to see. There you go. And this doesn't take me very long to, to, to do. It takes me about two or three minutes. All I have to do is put the text there, rotate it, and then cut along the mountain so that it looks like it's hidden. And then I just have to track it to the... I think I tracked it to this tree because this... Well, here, let me put it back and we'll just keep going. And notice how everything kind of like moves a little bit because of how anime back then was created. It wasn't digital. All right, we're back. After Effects crash, I had to restart, but we talked about the subscribe text, specifically this part with Frieza raising and lowering the water. I actually, if you go back and watch the version with music, the original version, I slowed and sped this up so that it would match perfectly to the music. So this right here is my favorite part of the episode. But we don't have the music here, but at the very least, you can appreciate a slow speed. All just so that it can match with the music, and then this part, also with the music. I barely added any sound effects because it really was drawing away from the music. Here I have Dende looking away in, I guess, disgust because he's a part of Gohan's suffering, but he's afraid of standing up to Goku, so he's just going to keep doing what he's told. Goku, of course, is none the wiser to anyone suffering here. Also real messed up how Gohan just coughs up blood here. I believe this is part of when he's fighting Raccoon, and then he runs forward. We'll see in a few clips he runs forward. Raccoon kicks, snaps his neck, he lays down, Goku finds him. So, just a lot of rearranging for this. Ch 
And this is what I mean when I say there's no sound unless I make the sound. All of that was just white noise. There was, or black noise. There was nothing going on there. And then here we get the music kicks in. Oops. Forgot to, when After Effects restarted, I had to re-mute the songs and I forgot to mute this part. Again, we're switching back and forth between Gohan and Goku and Vegeta. Because they're both in this same position. So, Vegeta's plan here is to get beat up and hopefully have Zenkai boost him, but it's not going to work unless he heals. Honestly, Vegeta has no way of living here. Also notice that Gohan is also saying this, but the only way to kill him is with Zenkai. Which him? That was what I was trying to get people to pick up on. Unfortunately, nobody commented about it, but who is it that... Because we know Vegeta's talking about Frieza. Who is Gohan talking about killing? Okay. It's Goku. Here, I made it seem like Goku was turning Super Saiyan. And I'm surprised I didn't use the Super Saiyan power-up sound effect to really drive it home. There, he was actually powering up when he's fighting uh, Ginyu. Also, finding clips... Oh, that's why. Finding clips where Gohan, Kid Gohan, isn't just crying all the time or angry, kind of difficult. Come on. This is all part of the music montage. I couldn't find more pained Vegeta sounds either. Oh, I remember now. I didn't use the Super Saiyan sound effect because it was clashing too much with the music. Anyway, we have another black screen here to allow us to calm down a little bit. It lets me move on to the third part of the episode. So the first part was the training montage with, or it was the montage about getting Dende and Vegeta getting the Dragon Balls. Second part was this, where we're comparing Goku to Frieza. And third part is the conclusion. So I guess rising action, climax, falling action, almost. I thought about breathing for Vegeta's sound effect there, but... Oops. No, 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 no. But I decided not to because it's weird to just breathe into my mic. It's weird for me to sit here and just be breathing into my mic. I didn't actually show Frieza throwing Vegeta, even though some of the sound effects are still there because it, it got this video claimed by Toei. And then this is actually one of my most popular videos on my channel. I just went and got this scene of Frieza walking, and I added this sound effect. And it took me a while to find it. All the YouTube videos that said Frieza walk sound effect were not clean at all. They had background noise, so I decided, okay, I'll make my own, and then I'll just post it. It was for a different, it was for a meme that I made at the time, but... Just wanted to point that out. People were also complaining about how, well, I like the original sound effect for Frieza's walking. The one that they had back in the 90s when this first aired. I went and I looked. I downloaded the entire, I legally acquired the entire original Dragon Ball series. They didn't have any special sound effect. It was just a normal person walking. It was the exact same as Vegeta or Goku walking on grass. There was no special sound effect, so... I have no idea what they think they're remembering, but they're wrong. I 
I had to find some sound effects to match here, and I'm pretty happy with this. I didn't know what to put for Frieza grabbing Vegeta, so I just did the guarding sound effect. Which actually works pretty well. That's the thing, is that with the sound effects, you have to think of how else your sound effect can be used. What other things it kind of sounds like. Here the music cuts in, but again, I have to mute it. I tried changing the background sky to green so that it's less obvious that I just ripped this straight from the Cell Saga, but then it was having issue with the yellow from the Super Saiyan aura. It made it look very terrible. I also have done my best throughout this episode to only show Gohan when he's wearing Piccolo's clothing because when he turns Super Saiyan, he's in Piccolo's clothing. So I never show any clips of Gohan when he's in the Saiyan armor. At this point, Frieza hasn't met Goku, so he doesn't know that this is his son. Or he doesn't know that there are other Saiyans aside from Raditz, Nappa, and Vegeta. But also, this is what he says in the original. He thinks that this is Raditz's kid. Frieza is being threatened by yet another hero. He's been through this all. He doesn't need to hear the monologue, so he's just gonna nip this in the bud immediately. He doesn't even let Go uh, Gohan finish. This was actually an explosion that was aimed at Frieza. If I play this a little bit further, you can see him escaping. Because it was part of Vegeta attacking him, but I repurposed it. I just cut it before you saw Frieza flying off. And I just played around with the smoke clearing and us seeing Gohan to try and match it as best I could so that you know that it's happening on Namek. It's supposed to be happening together. I went and found a clip where Frieza was stuttering. To show he's afraid. This all is happening because Frieza shoots at Goku, thinking he'll kill him, and Goku just slaps it to the side. And so Frieza shoots a ton of death beams. Goku continues to slap them to the side. The dust eventually clears. Frieza looks at him satisfied, and then he sees that he's still alive. So. My whole point is, it just takes a lot of a lot of thinking about how best you can work with these. This was from when Gohan actually cut one of the Cell Juniors in half. Originally, the color was blue, because the Cell Juniors were blue, and so their explosion was blue. But I made it purple to go along with the color of Frieza's blasts. You can actually see it a little bit when they're turning back. You see a little bit of that blue. Oh, his blood, I also just realized, turns blue. That's something that I only just now realized, so I doubt anyone else saw it. I had Vegeta laughing in the background here because of what Frieza's saying. I was hoping someone would point it out, but I don't think anyone noticed. When I posted this on YouTube, it it was a little bit too faint. I should have made it more opaque. And I tried to make it seem like Frieza was running away. Because I needed... The only reason I had him... I actually did this backwards. This clip is actually of him landing. But I made it look like he was going into the sky. Same thing here. This was actually him landing. I just played it in reverse so that it looks like he's trying to blow up the planet and leave. 
This is where the thumbnail came in. I forgot to talk about the thumbnail, but the thumbnail I just made really quickly because I didn't have anything in mind. I thought, how else can we talk about speedrunning? And I thought, oh, it's kind of funny if we have just a gun pointed at Frieza. Funnily enough, there are a few images of Piccolo racking a, I don't know what it is, like an Uzi. But I just went and got a gun pointed at Frieza and figured that was enough. So the reason I needed Frieza in the sky, one, this is Gohan firing at Cell. But two, this is Goku's times 20 Kamehameha, which causes Frieza's tail to get cut off again. Oh, uh, this is the photosensitivity warning. Shoot. Well, there was already, I'm sure, a redacted editor added some text. どうしたお前の力そんなもんなんかこいつらを倒せっちゅうことかおおいい戦いだったないやーうやー Okay, so welcome to anyone who had to skip because of the photosensitivity warning. I'm going to go back. We're just going to have still images. I'm not going to play the video again. I just wanted everyone else to see what was part of the video. So. We're going to do this very slow because I want to make sure I don't mistakenly cause anyone to have any issues. But the most important thing is that. Gohan fires the blast. Frieza starts to stop it with his hand a little bit. And then Goku goes, oh man, is that all that you've got? At this rate, oh, and notice Gohan's expression goes from, I don't know if, here, let me do this slowly. So Gohan's expression here changes from, yeah, I'm going to kill him to, what? He gets surprised. Go who says, oh, I thought you were stronger than this. At this point, there's still going to be enough particles of him that when his father finds him, they'll be able to revive him. I guess you need more training. And what does Gohan do? The second he hears this, go slowly. The second he hears this, he goes from shocked to hell no. And so he doubles down and gives it his all because training to him is just torture. It's abuse. Goku doesn't recognize that, but Gohan really doesn't want to have... He takes it as a threat. So he goes and gives it even more power. And that is enough to kill Frieza. We also have Gohan walking forward with his Kamehameha. Okay, so we can have the music from the, the outro here is the exact same, but we can have the music from here actually playing because it doesn't get picked up by copyright. But I just went through and I talked about, okay, these are the episodes that I used. These are the songs. I played a little bit of where the song was playing so that people could hopefully understand I don't think I did that sentence very well, but I'm sure you get it. And then I tried to show, hey, don't forget, there's a post credit scene. So in the post credits, I'll just talk about it and then we can watch it. Vegeta is once again being left in the dust. He is trying to fight and show his worth. He came to Namek and he started feeling good about himself. Like he started, yeah, he got beat up on Earth and a low class Saiyan became the legendary Super Saiyan. But then he came here and he he killed Kui, his longtime 
annoyance. Then he killed Doria, who used to be stronger than him. And yeah, he got beat up by Zarbon. But then he killed Zarbon, and he even got the Dragon Balls. And then, once again, he was defeated by the Big Bad and someone else. Not just a low-class Saiyan, but a half-breed. And a child at that has surpassed him, become the legendary Super Saiyan, canonically stronger than him. So this is just another, Vegeta's looking at Gohan after the blast, and we'll we'll watch this in a second, I promise, but Vegeta sees him after the blast, and he sees that yet again, there is another person who has surpassed him. No matter what he does, he just keeps getting surpassed. He can't keep living like this. So he's going to have to double down his efforts and train some more. And he starts crying because he just keeps getting outclassed, no matter what he does. Originally, notice that Go, Go, uh, Gohan is using two hands here. This is actually from when he blasts Cell the first time, when he transforms, and Cell's left. Let's take a quick look. He's just toying with Cell. Cell's still alive. You see. And Goku's like, hey, hey, you, you want to finish your meal? And Gohan's like, nah, I'm not done playing with my food. There it is. Yet again, he oops. Interesting. Hmm. I didn't know that was something I could do. Anyway. Yet again, he has been outclassed. And he's reaching because he wants to achieve that. He wants to reach that level. He wants it so badly. But he just can't reach him. He can't reach their level. So that's it. I use the bells to signal the transitioning of the blah blah. Uh... This is an error that I doubt anyone would have noticed. It's supposed to be the Namekian speedruns. There's a reason I call him the Namekian instead of Piccolo, but we'll talk about that next time. So, here's what I'm going to do. I was a week behind in making and publishing the other uh, video. I'm trying to get this done as soon as I can. Don't autosave. I'm trying to get this done as soon as I can. I'm probably still not going to post it on this Sunday, which is the 24th. It's probably not going to happen, but I will try to stick to schedule and get this done as soon as possible. Okay. We only have a few more episode breakdowns to get through. Then I have no more excuses and I have to actually start working on, on episode well, now it's episode 107, Vegeta speedruns the Boo saga. But yeah, I'll get that posted in a bit. Currently, I am at an hour and five minutes, almost an hour and six minutes. When I go through and edit, I'll see if I can bring that down to something more digestible. Thanks for being here. Take care.